Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying some Crank and Boom ice cream. This is local ice cream. Um, it is actually small batch ice cream made in Lexington, Kentucky. So, if you watch any of our vlogs, we constantly go to Lexington, Kentucky. These are actually located, um, Crank and Boom is actually located on Manchester Street. So, um, some people like to get an idea about the side of where we're, at, we're talking about. We've taken you to the Lexington Cemetery before and showed you how beautiful it is. Manchester Street runs alongside of where the, the Lexington Cemetery is. So, easy to find. So we have two flavors. We have super fudge. And I have salted caramel. So we bought both of these at Whole Foods. They were $7.99. So $8 for one pint. But it is a locally Local. owned. So I expected to pay a little bit more. Um, but I think we bought four containers. We did. So we will be doing another review of these. But this is our first time ever trying Crank and Boom. Uh, the super fudge. It says, no one loves chocolate more than my mom. She loves super dark, bittersweet chocolate that's not too sweet, but still really rich in flavor. This super fudge ice cream is a tribute to her. It's the chocolate of all chocolates, the darkest chocolate flavor we make, and my favorite chocolate ice cream in the world. Two thirds cup, 143 grams is 310 calories. And one thing I did not look for while we were at Hill Foods, never occurred to me, was to see if they were sealed. They're not. So, we bought the four that we bought, we won't buy it again. That's just, I mean, that's just a rule that we've created for ourselves. We don't like to buy ice cream that's not sealed. So, we're, we are, since we paid $8 a piece, we are going to try the four that we bought, and then the, that'll be it. Now, they do have a uh, shop where you can go in and get it there as well. So one of these days we might visit their scoop shop yeah, too. Because yeah. there you're not uh, dealing with just the, uh, the public. public walking up and um, opening it, opening it and licking it. Right. So we've had this sitting out for like what five or ten minutes. Yeah, and it not, looks like it's still pretty hard. It still looks pretty hard. Yeah. Obviously, I like it there. You know. Okay. Whatever you want to try out of that. No, that's fine. Tell you what, this it looks is very dark. Very, very dark. Yes. It didn't say to leave it laying out for a certain amount of time. Mm. That's some good chocolate ice cream. Wasn't there a Judy Bloom book called Super Fudge? Yeah. Wasn't his name Fudge? They yeah. called him, his friends called him Fudge yeah, or that, something? Yeah, that was her friend's name. Yeah. Yeah, I read those books. It's just been a long, 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 long time ago. Very cold. Mm-hmm. Almost painfully cold. That. It's good. I like it. Even though they described it as being super, super dark, it is not bitter. Mm -mm. I don't really get well there's so little bitterness but it's not a lot but it's it's it reminds you of you know what that would be good with what a piece of white ice cream birthday cake mm -hmm. not ice cream cake that ice cream would be good with a piece of white birthday cake to help offset that that chocolate flavor to yeah. have that vanilla flavor from the birthday cake that'd be really good to go it reminds you of a classic fudge flavor honestly yeah. if you've ever had um a fudgy dessert. That is it. It's good. But it wow. is very, very delicious. Mm -hmm. And it's not super, super sweet either, so. No. No, I, I, you could eat a lot of that because it's not too sweet. I like that. Okay, so now this is the salted caramel. <clears throat> salted caramel is one of my most favorite things in the world. In sauce form, candy form, and especially ice cream form. We make our own salted caramel slow and steady over the stove tops, stove top and mix it into our creamy ice cream base. The result is one of the best salted caramel ice creams you've ever had. My favorite thing to do is to add this flavor to a double shot of espresso. This is two thirds cup, 330. What was that one? This one was 310, so this one's more. 20 calories more. Um, they said that wasn't super sweet. So. And now we know it's not sealed. Okay. Although you would think you would know that if you would, you'd be able to tell because it's stuck. 
but you never know. But a lot of ice cream say that I know. too. So they say that, oh, but you could tell, but. I don't know, if somebody just licked it, I don't know if you could tell. I know. Or coughed on it. You should definitely could tell if they just went <laughs> on it. I trust, you know, it's not that I don't trust the company, I don't trust the people in the store. Exactly. Mmm. Oh gonna, my goodness. It's got a good saltiness to it. That's incredible. That reminds me of a uh, candy that we've had. Mm -hmm. That's a pretty salty caramel. Matter of fact, it's got so much salt in it that it almost seems not quite as sweet. It doesn't seem any sweeter or less sweet than the, the fudge does. And just so you know, this is already starting to melt in the bottom of this bottle. Yeah, once you get it out, it goes pretty quick. Right. This... So I noticed the lids are starting to melt. It's so rich. It's very and rich. full of flavor. I love salted caramel. That might have a touch too much salt for me. Mm-mm. Just, just a smidge. I think that's some of the best salted caramel I've had. It's, it's very good. Because they did do it right. They did put the right amount of salt. The caramel, I'm telling you, this reminds me of um, some candy that we've had, like, um, from the UK. Yeah. Because it's so rich and so full of flavor. It's good. You know what, um, now that I'm going back to that, I tried another bite of that fudge. Mm -hmm. If you've ever had a fudge pop on the stick. Right. That's what that flavor reminds me of now. Yes. I was trying to think of what that flavor reminds me of. If you ever had fudge pop, this is a much richer texture and flavor, but it does remind you of a fudge pop, that kind of chocolate flavor. Right. This is really good. I like both of them. Honestly, it's one of those things where I'm not going to pick a favorite because they're both equally good. Just depending on what kind of flavor and what taste you like. I'm going to pick a f favorite. Mine's the salsa, salsa caramel. caramel. Uh, the reason that we decided... But you know what? I really like that fudge though, so... I do too. It, it is actually, it's really, really good. Mm -hmm. I just could eat this whole thing of salsa yeah. caramel though. I could it devour it all. Um, and the reason that we decided to try some local brands is because I had some, um, several people ask me, I think you can order ice cream online. There's a shop that sells, uh, it's like icecream.com or I don't, don't take my word for it, but there is a, a place that sells ice cream and you can order it online. Yes, it's expensive, but they sell all different kinds and you can get it to your front door. Craig and Boom might sell it directly though. Craig, Craig and Boom might sell it directly. I don't know. Yeah, um, you, yeah, I'll have to link to their website below. Uh, you can look that up to see. They might ship it to you directly, or they might use one of those companies to ship through. I don't know, um, but it would be interesting to see. This ice cream specifically wasn't the one that somebody asked me about, but when I saw it, I definitely wanted to try it because I've heard about them for a while and I've heard it's really good ice cream. Andrew had it years ago and he's, you know, absolutely loved well, it. Well, they bought their um, their gas, um, like, like propane or whatever they have. Um, they bought it from them. Mm -hmm. Probably to keep it cold, but probably the stuff with their cold coolers or something. But they used to buy their gas from them, so they'd give them coupons all the time. I tell <laughs> you what, I would put that in my favorite things. Because, the pile. Pile. Yes, because I, it's, it's, it's a, that good. It's good enough. I would want to get it again and again. Love it. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll get a close-up for you of each one of these, although they're they're both uh, uh, solid colors, but I'll, I'll get a picture of them for you, and thanks for watching.